Hey, God bless you out there. You YouTube prayer wars out in spiritual cyberspace on YouTube and North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. Glory be to God. I got a new prophecy, new prophecy. Prophecy on Antichrist, Obama's soldier field occult worship. And shame, shame, shame on you, media. There was nothing in the newspapers with Antichrist. Obama took uh, the 28 military nations to the soldier field in Chicago, Illinois. There was no uh, TV report on it, no radio report on it, nothing on the Internet. And what we're seeing take place, it was not even talked about. And what's happening here, why couldn't President Obama have the 28 military heads dinner there in one of them big hotels nearby? Why did he have to drive seven, eight miles? Because inside the building they couldn't see this solar eclipse. This was a New World Order event when Antichrist Obama had soldiers feel because the 28 nations of NATO, they're the military leaders, is a resurrection uh, New Roman Empire, and they seen the solar eclipse, and that we're doing a occult worship that night there out in the soldiers' field. And that's what's happening there, and it's kind of funny. One more strange thing happened there. Antichrist Obama give all the 28 uh, military leaders nation there in the resurrected New World Roman Empire in the soldiers' field in Chicago, Illinois, a football. Why would he give them a football? You know, uh, for one reason, it's a, called a pigskin. And uh, to the Jewish temple, it's been done before when they threw the pig on the altar. It was unclean. It was abomination and desolation. This is Obama's nation of desolation. Spelled the different, sounds the same, and means the same. So that was something that was hidden on this NATO meeting in Chicago, the Antichrist Obama, you know, pulled a quick one on, and, and even the media I don't think was allowed there, but what was the media taking the pictures to show them arriving at the Soldiers Field in Chicago, Illinois? You know, Benia, you were sleeping at the wheel, TV, radio, newspapers, internet, that was you getting paid off, were you hiding for the fact what was happening out there? So, that's the new prophecy that they did. Antichrist Obama did his uh, soldier field uh, occult worship with the New World Order. The 28 uh, military leaders there at Resurrection New uh, Roman Empire, the New World Order there. That's what happened that day on May the 20th, 2012. And I got uh, the Bible prophecy to confirm God's word here. And this is talking about the Antichrist. It's about President Obama, who's the Antichrist here in Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Now we beseech you, brethren, by coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, nor be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by the word, nor by the letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And it's happening today. People don't want to go to church and we're hearing nothing about Jesus Christ. And the man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition. The son of perdition is Antichrist Obama, also the President of the United States, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he as God sits in the temple of God, and that's going to be the third Jewish temple in Jerusalem, Israel. So there'll be a day when Antichrist Obama will stand up and say, I'm God, showing himself that he is God. And it's the abomination of desolation. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now ye know what we told us, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he now less will let until he be taken out of the way. 
and then shall that wicked be revealed. That is the Antichrist Obama there, whom the, pre the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. That will happen in the final battle of Armageddon there in Medigo, Israel. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceiver boldness of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And this and for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So right now we see that Antichrist, that silver tongued devil, Obama, is uh, setting itself up there. There'll be a day that just, uh, and I'm going to tell you one more thing about the soldiers field in Chicago, Illinois. It's got a Greek style. And that night when Antichrist Obama went there with the 28 military leaders of the resurrection New Roman Empire and that's the New World Order, they had uh, a kind of Zeus uh, altar like he did when his nomination speech in Denver, Colorado, his second time he did this. They dedicated all the military parts there to the devil and that's what happened in Chicago, Illinois. The Antichrist Obama had a Zeus altar that night when that total eclipse, they, they looked for darkness in, in the stars and the moons and the dark. There was a darkness with that solar eclipse and worshiping the sun like Balaam and all these other uh, New Agers and stuff. And so that's the word of God today. The prophecy on Antichrist, Obama's soldier field, Chicago, Illinois, occult worship that happened on May the 20th, 2012 on the solar eclipse. So if them you don't know Jesus Christ your personal Savior today, I, call, I cry out to you, I plead with you, I pray and fast with you. This is your time, this is your hour to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Some of you have been doing it too long, putting off for another day, and tomorrow might not come. Today is the day of salvation. Turn your life over to Jesus Christ. It will be your greatest decision in your life. And I want you to say this prayer with me right now. Confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for forgiving me for my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for writing my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I got eternal life because I accept you as my personal Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Said that prayer today. You guys, call me. You men and women of God, now your new name, Grand Lamb's Book of Life. You're born again. Call me in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. Right. George and Betty Kelly on the YouTube channel. Email us. Look on our comment page. You'll see our address. You can write us a letter. You can see our email address. You can email us. You made your greatest decision in your life. And I just thank Jesus for you. And I want to say that prayer with you today. One more prayer, Lord. You got your new born again Christians. They are a year in the last day. Lord, anoint them, consecrate them, dedicate them, commit them, sanctify them in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God rest upon them. Cover them with the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against them will prosper. They'll be your new prayer warriors, God. They'll be your new John the Baptist and Moses and David and, and Abraham and Isaacs and Jacobs for the glory be to God. I lift them up to you today. Let thy mantle fall double portion on them for your glory in Jesus' holy name. And you have a blessed Memorial Day in the United States of America. And I give God all the praise and glory and honor. And it's a hot old day out here in Pinkneville, Illinois today. It's about 101 degrees in the heat index. And be praying for George and Betty Kelly, least your brother ministries, Pinkneville, Illinois. We love you all. But most important, Jesus loved you first. And just give God all the praise and glory and honor in Jesus Christ. King of kings and Lord of lords, the Messiah, the Savior of the world, is coming, returning soon. Keep your eyes upon Jesus. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. That's the only way we're going to make it in these last days. Perilous times, Jack is trouble. Just turn your eyes upon Jesus for the glory be to God. He'll shake the nations. He'll shake the nations for the glory of God. Jesus is going to shake the nations in Jesus' name's sake. Amen and amen.